We are organizing a project for reproductive health. Everyone, come to the school. You can get medical attention there. Sí, pues la doctora les va a mirar, va a hacer consulta después de las charlas. Sí, ya pues falta cuánto más vamos a ver. ¿Qué te quiero pronto? ¿Ah? They don't have a happy life. The women don't want to be stuck in the house, always in the kitchen. We also want to do what the men do. That's what I have to say. We form about 51% of the population. But if you look at literacy, the majority of women are illiterate. They don't know their rights. I think that everywhere, the majority of men, and some women as well, although they are dissatisfied with their condition, think that the status quo should be maintained. My name is Menka. I have six sons and one daughter, seven all together. My husband works, and with that money, we eat. There is no pension and no other income source. We can't pay for the children's school fees. What can we do? To live in poverty is too difficult. If the neighbors ask, have you eaten, we have to say yes, even with an empty stomach. There is no one to give us food. If we had some property, we would not have to face this. We have to depend on my husband's meager income. All day he plows the land. Whatever he brings, we cook, and the children fight amongst themselves for it. My share is so small that I don't get to eat. This is the problem. This is my daughter, Parvati. She is at school in Timki. 
I don't know what else to say. I cannot afford to send her to school anymore because we are so poor. We can't even give her enough food in the morning. When you are poor, this is what happens. My name is Parvati, Parvati Pariya, and I go to high school. I am studying for the seventh grade. Because of my caste, I will have to be a sewing woman, go to sewing classes or find any other job. After high school, I would like to go to college, but I don't think it will be possible because of the financial problem at home. Sons are not given a lot of work to do, but daughters are. We have to learn how to manage the household. Also, we daughters are not given enough time to study, whereas the sons are. Food is distributed equally, but still the sons are loved more and the daughters less. I would treat children equally. I would give them a good education, keep them healthy, and give them nutritious food. There have been so many conferences about women's issues, women's rights, but I, I, I think we've not been very consistent. You know, we must be consistent and fight for what we need. Family planning uh, unit, and uh, we here are organizing outreach family planning programs. Uh, apart from here, we want to set up one inside the market close by, so that the market women in there will not find problems traveling over here for their service. It will be right in the heart of the market. Once in a while, we hear my mother's. Uh, dying out of delivery, you know, when they go to the traditional bed attendants, for instance. Those who are educated really understand the need for uh, good reproductive health, but those who are not actually, they aren't so keen about matters related to in the reproduction. <laughs> Sorry, 
We find that they have let, they don't have enough knowledge about diets for children. And we advise them also about their own total health. They produce between 75 to 80 percent of the food and they also distribute that much but they gain very little which is very unfair and so we are trying to correct that. My family are farming, so if I didn't come and learn my handiwork, I would suffer in my life. That is why I came to learn how to sew, so that my future would not be jeopardized. Plant Parent Association of Ghana is trying to get something for the youth in this area to do. Apart from the sewing skills that we are giving them, we talk about uh, teenage pregnancy, relation between boys and girls, and then we add parasite control and nutrition, and then family planning. I'm learning it so that in future, I can do my own handiwork. After that, when, when my husband gives me money and the money is not sufficient, I can ask for me to raise. Somehow we are empowering the women that they can be on their own. Because once you have your own money, you can manage it the way you want it. And what we do is um, we use in women's income generating activities as an entry point in introducing population and family welfare issues. Uh, to the women and the women over here process palm oil and palm canal oil. To empower women in Ghana, first of all, women need to be educated. They need economic independence as well. Education alone, if you do not have money, you don't, then you would have to depend on your husband, and that limits you. You need to uh, know what is going on around you, know your rights and your responsibilities, so nobody can cheat you. Our laws don't discriminate against women, but the discrimination is de facto. It's de facto. It's embedded in a, a traditional... Uh, um, uh, Morse uh, culture. That is how it comes. It's very subtle. And what we are doing now is to involve men in most of our programs so they would appreciate the problems of women and then they would appreciate the need to address the problems together. Women do not live in isolation. We live in a society made up of men and women. And so we need to address the problems together.
democracy should start in the bedroom, in the home, in the community, then in the nation and internationally. I do believe that reproductive health is a key, a specific instrument to achieve equality for women in a society where women are being frankly discriminated against. Obviously in Bolivia, the discrimination that women are suffering has to do with the lack of access to information, especially for men. A partir de 15 hasta a todo joven, también a los del colegio, a todos, se está explicando. Los hombres son más machistas, ¿no? The men are very macho, they hit the women, but it shouldn't be like this. We should teach them in workshops like this one. I believe that with time, this will change. Aquí está indicando, esta es el té de cobre que las mujeres también se hacen colocar en esta forma. Los padres eh, son más cerrados, más cerrados a su cultura y tienen Our parents are now minded, old fashioned and are afraid of talking. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, mi papá nunca me ha hablado de In my case, my father never talked to me about family planning, never talked to me about any subjects dealing with sex. And this is because our ancestors built up a taboo. And now, little by little, this is changing. Los hombres son machistas, no dan prioridad a las mujeres. The men are macho, they don't respect women. Women are isolated because men don't think they have the same capabilities and knowledge. My hope is that young men can change their feelings about being macho towards women and also have more opportunities to learn about sexuality. In our society, it is shameful to talk about sexuality, to handle the plasticine, to see genitals reproduced in a posture, makes the subject less sensitive, and then we can talk about it calmly. This opens opportunities in planning your life. A woman who is able to decide how many children to have can plan her work, her professional life, schedule her time. I think she can fully develop her career.
Aquí estamos reunidos en esta comunidad Arapata. Aquí estamos reunidos en esta comunidad on the plain, the high plain. Reunidos con las con la comunidad. The community is meeting here to learn about family planning. Para saber sobre la planificación familiar para explicar a las mujeres qué es lo que es planificación familiar. To explain to the women what family planning is. Calidad de to vida. To improve our quality of life. Porque la comunidad no sabe todo de todo eso. Como tienen a varios hijos y no un We have a no lot of felices. children, and we don't live a happy life. We want to live happily, no but we don't know how. The women don't want to be stuck in the house or within the kitchen. We also want to be able to do what the men do. Sin también pueden ir como los hombres. That's what I have to say. Eso puedo decir. Yo creo que la inversión en salud reproductiva. I believe that investing in reproductive health and supporting a program reducing maternal deaths in countries like ours, where the maternal death rate is so high, is an investment to improve human development in these countries. El desarrollo humano de los países. Therefore, it is an investment tanto, well que, made. Eh, es una inversión bien hecha. I mean, look at what is going on, the destruction, not just of property, but of life. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I think if there were more women in uh, decision making, positions worldwide in governments and in international fora, there'd be less conflicts and wars in the world because women are builders, not destroyers. <laughs> 